One of the things I've enjoyed most about having our court proceedings posted on social media is that they are now seen by people from all over the world. No matter where they are from, what language they speak or culture they were raised in, they all seem to respond to and really appreciate our core message of treating everyone equally with kindness, dignity, and respect. Their appreciation comes back to us in many forms, from simple messages written in their native languages to beautiful poems and drawings. I've been invited to birthdays, weddings, and homes of people from five different continents. I've even had babies named after me. It's been simply amazing and very humbling. Last week, I received a message from Omar Hassan from Agadishu, Somalia in Africa, offering me what may be the most surprising and unique gift yet, three camels. At first, I thought this must be a joke, but apparently it's a very legitimate offer. So I thought I'd call Omar and find out for myself. Hello, Omar. Yes, Judge. How are you? It's such a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much. Me too. I am so happy to speak with you here. And I, I, you're sitting next to your dad, is that right? Yes, this is my beautiful dad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and your dad is Dr. Ali, is that correct? Yes, he's a doctor. Explain to me, Omar, because I'm very curious, why would you be making a gift of camels to me? You make us so love, happy, watching your video, helping people, showing love to the all of people every day. It is because we prepare to choose to give you comment. Because you are somebody that we love. Well, I am really moved at your wonderful gesture of offering me three camels. My feeling on that is that I gratefully accept your offer on one condition and that condition is that you would in my name uh, give those animals to someone in your area who is needy, a needy family. Dad, we want to tell you that you are camel and, uh, and I will wait your permission uh, to give the poor people, three people. Three people. I'm going to donate them. That's that's wonderful. You are you have a very kind heart, and and the way in which you are expressing yourself, and the way in which you are being generous and thoughtful, is because you have had that wonderful upbringing from your parents. And as you sit next to your dad, I can see how proud he is of you, and how proud you are that he that you are following his example in life. All right, now, Omar, I have a question for you. Have you, okay. have you chosen the three camels yet? And if you, if you have, are any of them in the, uh, can I see any of them in the video? Okay, can I take the camera to show you there? Yes, I'd love to see them. The first one is this one. Wow, that's beautiful. And this is the second one. Wow, that's a beautiful animal. This is the third one. That's the third one. Yes. Well, the three families are going to be so fortunate. Wow, look at the camel. The, the camel loves you so much, Dr. Ali. He gave you yes. a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ali, how expensive are camels? He said uh, this one is about $1,000. So how long would a person have to work uh, in Somalia to, to afford to buy a camel? Seven months. Seven months. Oh my goodness! Yes. Wow. Well, this has been a very this has been a learning experience for me. This has been a, an emotional experience for me. It's been a great experience for me. I, I'm going to have a camel, uh, three camels given in my name to a poor family, which really is so generous of you and your family that I, I can't express my appreciation enough. Thank you, Judge. And I'm very happy to see you that to have a conversation with you here. Today you make my day. Well, thank you, Omar. You made my day. Uh, I wish you and your family 
your dad and your, your entire family. I wish you good health, I wish you prosperity, and I wish you peace. Thank you, Jack. Bye. Thank you. Dr. Ali, bye. Thank you. Well, there you have it. I can now add Camel Giver to my resume. Now, if any of you have been inspired by Omar and want to send me a gift, would you please do me a favor? Instead of sending me the gift, would you please donate it to a charity in your area? Remember, charity begins at home. Thanks again, Omar and Dr. Ali. Treat my camels well, and please let me know how they are doing in their new homes. Take care, everyone.